Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Today, I just want to do hopefully a quick run through on how you uh, at least get an idea of what cars or what uh, vehicles will work uh, for your marketplace. I get a lot of people asking the questions, you know, what car should I get? Um, you know, what do I do if, uh, you know, uh, I'm in, uh, not near the airport, things like that. So uh, one of the questions I wanted to answer, I have a buddy that is in Las Vegas and he's looking to uh, create some other source of income because he's got a couple of scares going on. Uh, that would mean that uh, he's getting a, a pension from UPS, but he's also working as a Lyft driver, an Uber driver to try to compensate, his, to, to make some more money. And so uh, he's had a couple of health scares that is just for me, is the Holy Spirit telling him diversify. Uh, what if you can't drive? He had a couple instances there where he was not able to drive, and so it messed his money up. And so I just truly believe that um, it's God using the enemy to uh, push us into uh, looking into doing what the Word of God says, where in Ecclesiastes it says that we should take our portion, um, spread it among seven or eight different streams of income. And so uh, that is what we want to do. We want to line our lives up with the Word of God, and so it's God. It's a God idea uh, to diversify is a God idea to have um, streams of income is a God idea to have uh, passive income coming in. Well, uh, Turo is not absolutely passive, but it can be passive. The way I'm going to try to structure it for him is going to be passive because I truly believe for him uh, it's probably going to be a better uh, business model to um, use some of that money he has, get cars, and give them to a co-host in Vegas and have that person uh, do the heavy lifting, and then he will have some income stream coming in should something uh, happen to him, uh, which I don't believe is going to, but you always want to be prepared, right? It's like insurance. You get insurance, you never need it. Uh, so uh, my goal is to allow him to give an opportunity to say, what's the marketplace look like? Um, what um, the cars will work uh, for the kind of income you need to try to get the split that you're looking for uh, with this co-host. And so uh, the, the best thing for me that I've seen to be able to do that is an extension, and it's a Chrome extension called uh, Turex Explorer. It's right here. And so basically, I'm just going to go through that and show you how it works. Um, and then maybe do a little thing where uh, a little surprise where I do something a little off the cuff and uh, uh, see if it will help somebody. All right, so stay tuned. If you have not, uh, don't know who I am, uh, I'm Maurice Samuel McGregor Goring. Uh, this is Men in Spiritual Authority. The intention of this channel is to uh, equip men uh, to be able to pivot, to be able to build confidence in their household uh, with their wives and their children uh, that they... Um, are being led by the Spirit of God and that they are um, have options to fund and put, um, provide for their families uh, without uh, it being necessarily just them. And so that they're thinking uh, spiritually, that the learning of their family's life with the Word of God, and that it's not all dependent on their heavy labor, which was the original curse when uh, Adam and Eve uh, fell, uh, but Jesus Christ restored us, and so we should be back to the uh, situation where we don't have to heavy labor anymore that we can work intelligently and let God provide if we line up our lives with his word. Right. So let's move forward. So we had a Torex Explorer um, is what it is. I've got three filters in here and the filters I had where I used, I'm going to check the marketplace. I did a search. It is a three day period here uh, for Las Vegas, Nevada. And the filters I have, I used, um, I'm looking for cars that all star hosts have because I want all star hosts. I've been doing it for a while. And so therefore the cars that they have, are probably are cars that are proven, so we want to see what they have rather than just mix it in there with some people that just got one car, two cars, right? And then also I um, narrowed it down in regards to uh, uh, the year of the make of the vehicle uh, because uh, we're on the economy model. So uh, we're not buying G-Wagons, things like that. What we're looking to do is to um, add uh, vehicles that um, we can get cash, we can use cash to buy, uh, and put them to work. So uh, it just tends to be that the economy model kind of survives any kind of ups and downs and sideways. And um, my responsibility is to make sure that you have a long-term um, uh, look at Turo versus, you know, okay, it's it's hot when, you know, I've got the high-end cars with the high payments and it's popping and what, hap what happens when it, uh, it slows down. So Turo has some cycles. It goes up and down. Uh, in those slow months, you're probably not going to be renting the heavy cars, the expensive cars. Uh, but you're always going to be renting a, a, a Sonata or an Elantra or a, a Altima or um, a Chevy Cruze or something like that. So uh, that's where I'm at. Um, we, I mean, so many different ways to do it. If you're a big ball, do it. You know, number is number, right? Uh, for me, I'm trying to reach a, a larger audience. And so 
Uh, my belief is that if we do the economy model, more people can get in, uh, more men can get in there um, and get two or three vehicles up and running and be able to uh, provide uh, alternate income for their families, right? All right, so Turex Explorer. So basically, again, the filters are in there. And so I'm going to go over, click on the 2x Explorer. I'm going to do the start recording. I'm going to X out of there, um, and then uh, we've got the uh, we've got the cars in there. I'm going to click uh, search this area, and then it's going to say, "Okay, got 143 cars." Uh, we're going to go back to 2x Explorer, and it's populated with those cars. And then this is the beautiful thing. So. Uh, literally, this extension allows you to be able to de get deep dive into into the competition's business, or I shouldn't say competition, but into other Turo hosts in your marketplace um, that are doing their business, and you can see how they've structured their business from, I'm going to hit this in rich vehicle data, we can do a live, it's only 143, so it shouldn't be too bad, it's going to populate uh, with some very, very key critical information, and so I'm going to go through that while it populates uh, in hopes of uh, expedience here and see if we can get this done for you without it being too long. But I truly believe that it has a significant amount of value. So I'm going to scale down here, go down here and slide over. We don't, uh, we know it's Vegas, so you see Vegas. Um, and we don't need to know what um, uh, make it is. We, we can typically do it off of the model and we're just going to really see uh, what cars uh, are common if there's any kind of if the data will show us anything that allow us to be able to make some decisions in regards to economy cars. All right. And so what are we looking for? So while this populates, uh, we're looking for uh, this busy 30 that shows the amount of days uh, that the vehicle is rented. Uh, this gross 30 shows the amount of money that this vehicle made within the 30 day period. And the gross 365 shows um, how much this vehicle has made uh, year to date. Uh, this is a very. This shows you when the vehicle uh, went was put into work, put to action, and then this plan part of it is very very important. If you're not, if you're new new to Turo and you have not experienced the different plans or what happens once you put a car on a vehicle in regards to insurance and protection and this and the profit split out uh, of Turo, uh, this may uh, be a lot. But I'm gonna try to walk through, and make it easy. So basically, uh, when you have a vehicle, we we'll use one car, a vehicle on Turo. Uh, the when the, while the vehicle is on the platform being rented by a renter, uh, the there is insurance that's provided. There's seven hundred thousand dollars worth of liability insurance, as well as there is um, protection uh, for damage, right? And so, depending on how much money you're willing to give uh, to Toro, will depend on how much exposure you have deductible wise. So, the ninety percent plan uh, will give you ninety percent of the income, uh, but it gives you a $2,500 deductible should the worst case happen. So if the car gets wrecked, uh, $2,500 deductible is going to come off the top, and then Toro will give you the rest if the renter does not take responsibility and pay for it on their end. That also being said, one of the things that happen in between your car being wrecked um, and your car being on the platform is the, the claim part of it where uh, they run up against a tree or they, or they slide up against. I had a customer that I was stuck in a parking lot, <clears throat> And in order to get out, had to scrape up against a bike rack that put a scrape on my vehicle. And uh, so that was like my second claim ever in the within the last uh, week. But God used it for his glory. Uh, so what happened was then I had to go get a, um, uh, I had to go get an estimate done, popped it in there, uh, filed the claim. But when you go in there, Turo gives you two options. You can uh, ride it out with the customer. And you have 20 days to do that with them where they get to respond and say, you know, go to their insurance or pour you out of cash, whatever it is, once you get, put the estimate in there. <clears throat> or you can have Turo do all the heavy lifting, um, but they're going to do the heavy lifting based on uh, the plan that you have signed up for. So if you signed up for the 90% plan on that trip, then uh, if they do it for you, if it falls in within that $2,500 deductible, don't waste your time. Uh, so ideally, the ideal situation is that you get the, the client uh, owns up to it. Um, and they are willing to do what they need to do to resolve it. So you send it to, it gives you two choices where you file the claim, uh, resolve with the client directly, or uh, Turo does it, all the heavy lifting for you. And so if they take blame for it, you just, get, you know, you put it in there. But as far as experience, you know, I've had my gal, I thought I was going to tell you, yeah, she has up 20 days to respond. It was like a $1,700 bill, and I popped it in there, and she paid that thing in three days, right? 
the other thing was that I had one that was a, I had I, and that plan. That was, I was a little concerned about that one because that one was on the 80% plan, which had me with a $750 deductible, which is fine. But that means if I let Turo do it, then I'm going to take a hit for 750 off for that repair um, money. And so, but the one prior to that, the first one I've ever had, uh, I had a 250 deductible. And so um, this gal was a little sketchy. And so I just said, you know, it was my first one. I didn't know if she was going to come through or not. So I just had Turo do it. Um, I provided the uh, estimate for them, and then they went through the process, and they did it. Uh, they got their estimate, and I looked at the estimate, and then they gave me um, uh, my money minus two hundred fifty dollars deductible, which was fine. Um, and they did it fairly quickly. Uh, and then the second one I had, I was tossed between managed other set tour again, but it's a seven fifty deductible. I don't want to take that kind of hit. I got to get this car repaired. It's one of my favorite cars. It was my Sonata, and so um, I just went. Uh, I I pushed it through with uh, her directly. She had already put in the in the chat that she would do whatever she needed to do to fix it because she it was her mistake. And so she came through and knocked that out. And so praise God, I got, I got that done. All right. And so if I'm looking at Vegas, I looked at a lot of markets with this Tura, with the Turex Explorer. And traditionally, a lot of the hosts will use the 75% plan. It used to be is, is the mo- usually the most common one. Again, that's the one that has the uh, $250 deductible. But uh, Ve- Vegas is gangster. Vegas is running at... Uh, 90% plans seems to be the majority of uh, the uh, plans are out there. These guys are not playing. So I got some 75s in there. I uh, got some few 80s in there. But for the most part, the majority of them are 90. They're getting their money, right? And so, uh, again, we understand the risk. So with the 85% plan, it's a uh, 1750 deductible. And with the 75% plan, we just talked about that. That's the uh, $250 deductible. And then 80 has a... Um, 80 has, let's see, one, two, yeah, two, no, 75 is 250, 80 is 750, and then um, 85 is 17, 25, and then 90 is 2,500, all right? Again, um, that, you know, you don't have to be afraid or concerned or stressed out because typically I was thinking that, because this is my first claim, I was thinking that, um, you know, I had to go to a big old fight, go around and get a whole insurance company and everything like that. If something happened, it was the client's fault. So that I wouldn't get hit by for that deductible for no reason uh, by Turo. But again, the whole the system is beautiful. It's all set up in there. You can put all, upload all the stuff, send it to the client, have them deal with it. If they don't deal with it in 20 days, then Turo take over. Turo escalate, and then they'll do it according to your plan. And so, uh, you know, just be careful of that. If you know, you know because what's going to happen is typically a car won't get wrecked, but it'll get scratched. Or something, you know, they run up against a, um, you know, fire hydrant or something. You know, it's not going to be, it might not be a big deal, but you want that to fall um, bigger than whatever your deductible is if you got to deal with it that way and have Turo uh, be the one that deals with it for you if the uh, client does not be able to do it, right? So let's look and see what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit model here so I can see if I can get some, line up all the different uh, models together. All right, we got an access economy cards right here. So again, again, I went up to you from 2011, 2016, uh, because uh, based on uh, I buy a lot of car, I call my cars at the auction, and so um, the economy car, the cash cars, uh, typically have a good number. It makes sense and give you a good return on investment uh, from the two, 2011 to 2016, typically 2015, but. 2016 is a little expensive, but again, it just depends how you want to do it. If you're, you know, if you're, if you're a 10,000 a, a car dude, then um, you can get some, you can get a good range in the uh, uh, going up to 2016, 2017. And if you do auctions like I do, all right. So uh, let's look here. So what are we trying to see? So look at this example here. So right here. So this um, accent is was on there since May 2023. It's got 22, 22 days of usage. Uh, it's got an uh, average uh, rate, uh, daily rate of $40.67, and it's made 914 dollars on the 9% plan. So uh, again, the 9% plan gives you more, so this should be higher. If you look at uh, maybe this accent here with the uh, is that one with an 80% plan? Yeah, so this one here with the 80% plan, um, they've only made they only I mean I think September was a very slow month across the board. I didn't I mean whatever was set in there was set. I didn't really get Gang bucks as far as new reservations, anything like that. Um, I got through it fine, but it was not, uh, I wouldn't say it was the highlight of my uh, career in Turo. Uh, that month was kind of, it sucked really. Um, but uh, so 328, but you know, if you just numbers are not, you know, not lining up, then you just look at the year as you just look when the car started. So this car has been working since, um, 
eleven fourteen two thousand nineteen. So for the year two thousand twenty three, is generated by eighty five twenty seven, and we're in October. So that's like let's say uh, September. That still looks like that's decent money, right? So don't worry about the slow month. Uh, just look and look at the annual and see what they've made in, in up year to date, and you can show that's the car that's making money on even on the eighty percent plan. It's pretty good. All right, and so that's what you just go through there. Ultima, he's on Ultima. That's really good. It's a nine percent plan, of course. So I was making big money. So if you're willing to take that kind of risk, you can make twelve hundred bucks a month on a uh, two thousand fifteen um, Nissan Altima, right? And I love a Nissan. They love Nissans. They take it for multiple days. And so this one is rented all the time, thirty days, average fifty five dollars. That's just big money right there on an Altima. All right, and so if we go down, we got a Corolla. Uh, on the nine percent plan, four seventy one. This one was just started. Yep, just started. So you can see eight twenty nine, two thousand three. Just started, and uh, the two thousand sixteen you got seven twenty five on the seventy five plan. Again, uh, if you got the seventy five percent plan, eight plan looks like in Vegas that gives you less money. So that's no wonder why the the big ballers are taking that ninety percent. Go after it because you get more money. So my goal is a thousand cars, make it a thousand dollars a month. So. Uh, I'm all about $1,000 a month cars. That's really the only cars I want to buy, the only cars I want to afford. So based on the, I've been doing this for a while, and my data, and looking in there, I know what a car, I can typically, by doing my research, and so will tell you uh, what car uh, is going to make $1,000 um, a month gross income, all right, economy car. So um, that's really what I focus on. So I look at that number. Uh, so Countryman, 926 on the 90% plan. All right, that's that mini, and then we go down here the Elantra. My favorite, the Hondas, and this one's making this one must be brand new. Yes, yeah, so this one's brand new, so it's make six forty nine on that ninety day plan. Went seventy day, seventeen days out. Uh, this one's at seven twenty. Uh, not bad at all. Two thousand fifteen Edge thirteen sixty one. That's cool. All right, twelve sixty five. Well, we got another another economy car. We got a Fiesta. We got a couple of Focus here, eight seventy three on the eighty percent plan on a two thousand fourteen red Ford Focus. Um, been on since seven eleven two thousand three. That's that's really good. That's good there. So, again, you, if you're trying to figure out what to use in your marketplace and your economy model, fine. But if you know you're big time and you can tell, you can look at the Mercedes. You can look at the the um, BMWs. You can look at all you know Corvettes. You got all kinds of stuff in here. So you can literally. Whatever, wherever you want to be comfortable, wherever you want to go, wherever you, what kind of cars you want, whatever you feel happy about, um, then you just go after it. You, but you can use this information here as your uh, data, okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Now, one other thing I want to do, and real quick get you all out of here, um, I, I've, I have this thing that I use called when I figure out, I try to figure out what kind of um, video to do uh, or what people are saying about Turo. There's this website called uh, Answer the Public. Answerpublic.com. And so literally it tells me, because my goal um, is to um, coach people into generating uh, $10,000 a month in gross income um, on Turo. So if anybody's interested in getting coached, I will hang in there. We'll go through the whole process month after month until we get you to uh, week after week. We'll have conversations. We'll do data together. We'll do all the research together. Um, and that's a program, that's an offer I have uh, for that person that wants to drive, build a business of $10,000 a month. Um, I will coach you through that process um, for um, a, a, tip, a coaching fee. Uh, but for the guy that's just in there, just wants to get started, uh, just wants to figure out what to do, wants some help, get some insight into um, their marketplace, man, just, uh, just send me some in comments and I got you. No problem at all. There's no charge for that. I just want to, you know, I'll, I'll love, I'll love on you. I'll help you out uh, to get started. But if you're somebody that say, you know, I've got the resources, I've got the credit, I've got the, um, the time, I've got the determination that I want to uh, build at least a minimum of a $10,000 a month uh, Toro business. I mean, I'll walk you through from fixing your credit to uh, helping you set up your business to all the whole deal, right? And so I go to, I go here and I hit Turo. I put Turo in and then it gives me 700 uh, results, right? So answer pop is going to give me questions uh, that people are asking about Turo. And so you can figure out, you know, what's going on, what, what are other people saying, what are other people trying to do, right? And so you click on this, and these ones here are the more, uh, more intense ones. And so we've got 137 questions. We pop in there. And so 
And, you know, some of these are from the consumer standpoint. Some of them are questions that I can help you answer um, as a tour or host or somebody that's looking to start um, the business. And I just want to hear, why does tour charge double? I think that I've, I've heard that what happens is that you know, if you have a car for $30 a day, tour charge is $60 a day to the person on the other side. I've only rented from one time, and I just had to get the car, so I got and got out of there. But um, I, I got, you know, it's one of those things you have a conversation. What does it look like on the consumer side? Uh, it would probably be helpful to help you uh, to understand your business. And also, uh, one of the things that I've done is I've uh, separated. I built a, a private rental car company website in the whole, um, and my goal is that to put cars into that as well, so that uh, should Toro become like YouTube, where they get rid of you when they want to get rid of you. Um, or you know, or always have a pivot. Um, I ha I will just take those cars, put them into my uh, rental car agency, and rent them in privately um, on the street um, with, with the marketing, all that stuff that goes on. So you always want to do that. You want to, and again, that's one of the things I can help you with. You set your business up right. Set up your business to be able to pivot no matter what. Um, you know, use Turo, use Get Around, um, whatever it is. You know, and uh, if Uber's coming along, coming down the road to be in the business, uh, let's uh, you know, let's be host and ready to go with that as well. So. Uh, you have to be, I love Turo, um, I, um, I'm successful with them, uh, but also we have to take care of our families and we're gonna, if we're going to make this kind of commitment, money commitment, we need to make sure that we're intelligent about it and have other options, right? Um, uh, why Turo over rental? I had a guy that one of my buddies went and he said it was like he got it for $33 a day and when he looked at Hertz and the other place, they were like uh, $67 a day. Um, and one of the things that's crazy to me that... Um, you know, it's so important for uh, me, for my brand, that I send my cars out looking good, that I don't put them crappy cars out there, um, beat up, bumped up, you know, dented up cars, and put in and say, hey, I'm, you're saving some money, he's driving my, my beater. Um, I, uh, I rent, I, my Tesla got into an accident, and I had to, I rented another Tesla from Hertz. This car was, I mean, it's the exact same car I have, black on black, and uh, black outside, black inside, leather seats, and this thing, I mean, it had scratches on it. Uh, the tire pressure in the back was um, uh, needed to be addressed. Um, part of the uh, uh, the paneling on the inside was coming out. I mean, this is how they sent it out. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, my insurance called me up to 45 bucks a day, and they got an agreement with Tesla because I had Tesla insurance. But, I mean, that's car. I'm like, what is this? And they just sent that out on the road, took pictures of it. So, yeah, we took pictures of the damage. I'm like, man, you're renting cars. If I rented a car... Like this on Turo, I would be ashamed of myself. But this Hertz is throwing out Teslas with like scratches on the front and the back, beat up, um, falling apart, tires need, put, need to put new tires on. I mean, the tire pressures were like four different kinds of tire pressures. I'm like, what in the name? So, so people, they they're coming to us, right? Turo is a real deal. It's giving you an opportunity to put out some cars. I mean, we, you know, you would think, oh, they got all the money. They can they can make sure somebody maintains the car. Somebody goes out there and make sure the tires are replaced. Somebody fix the stuff that's off. Somebody can fix the scratches. No, they just throwing them cars out there. And I was in there, and uh, somebody was calling asking about a rate. And they're like, oh yeah, we don't do rates. We do uh, supply and demand. What? So depending on the, I mean, I know Tour does that as well, but they they do that based on the pen on the platform, they don't do that across the board. Like, you know, it's always supply and demand. They're like, you know, if it's coming in, there's a Tuesday, you're going to get a deal. These people are like, I'm like crazy. So I say that to say that we have a significant opportunity uh, in this business, if you do it right. And not to make this video too long, people, but you must care about people. If you are going to get into this business, you're watching this and you're trying to figure out how to start a business. If you don't like people, you don't care about people, it's not important to you to give a high level of service. You don't have a servant's heart. Don't do this business, right? If you're just trying to make the money, I have a buddy of mine that rented, the same guy from Vegas, rented, he went and rented a car, two of mine were, mine were um, booked out. And this guy gave him a car, and the guy was excited, talking about he just got some money, he's going to build a fleet. And the car that he gave him, it was like, he said this car has been rented, since so he just put his first car on there. It was a Hyundai SUV. And the guy was like, this car has been rented the whole time. And so, but my buddy's driving the car. He's like, the car's got some issues. Like the car is churning off at the, at the light. And I'm like, what? Okay. So I say it to say, don't chase the money to the point where you don't maintain the car. There are people going to be in this car. They're going to be people with their kids in this car. You can't have janky tires on there. You can't have the alignment out of control. You can't have the lights not working. And so I say to you that. Uh, this business will get ahead of you because people will love your car and they'll start renting it 
but put a plan in place. First, you got to like the people. You got to value beings, okay? And then you also want to um, create a brand where you get good customer service. Check my profile. I people, you know, I have a customer service background, and so I'm, I'm using that. And I just transfer that over to the business. I know how to win a customer's heart. And so it's important you do that. You want them to say, hey, you know, this guy was there. He communicated, looked out for me, blah, blah, blah. All right? But if you're just trying to get that money, um, it's going to be a short-term win, and you may get somebody hurt because you're not paying attention to your tires, you're not paying attention to the maintenance of the car, you're not paying attention to the battery's too old, all those things, and you're going to get yourself, you know, if you're not praying hard and getting the Holy Spirit to cover you, you might get into a situation so bad that you may not be able to uh, recover. So, um, please, 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 uh, yes, the money can be uh, beautiful. It may be, it is awesome to see that this, your car take off and people start renting and running all the time. And, and, you know, you don't have any time in between to do anything to the car. They just keep taking it. You want to get that money. Uh, but please care about people so you can build a business. You can become an all-star and also, uh, make sure that you, uh, find a way to, uh, do basic maintenance on your vehicle so that, um, it will not be something that all of a sudden you go from fives to twos because your car is acting up and uh, destroy all the work you've done. Right. Uh, take it from me. It's very, very important that you maintain that. All right. So some, I mean, so some of the questions, right? Um, well, some of those are over there for just basically for people. All right. So this one is a, can tour be trusted? Can tour do one way? Can tour be profitable? Can tour cars be taken out of state? So people, there are a lot of questions out there. If you're in this business, want to get in this business that people want answered. And so I love the fact that I have this uh, YouTube channel where I'm trying to uh, create uh, opportunities for uh, men to be able to uh, walk in authority and be on the front lines and be able to provide for the families and build businesses, be entrepreneurs and, and swat into their children. And so I, uh, my whole heart is to do videos on, you know, can tour trust? Yeah, I get my check all the time. I get my money, right? And, uh, you know, one of the questions on there I saw earlier was, you know, are they going to go public? Uh, one of my things, I'm hoping, well, you know, again, we don't put all our eggs in one basket, but my hope is uh, that uh, they will get that done. They're going after it. They're doing it the, the methodical, slow, do it because they're trying to do it right. Uh, get around, did it, and they went around fast out there, rolled out there, um, started off, and then they got cracked on the stock is down to some pitiful amount. And so, you know, but, you know, get around's got its place, uh, but Toro's trying to do it better. And so, as we, you know, if you've been in the business, you've been with them, you've seen them get rid of a uh, car stink, which was significant help to me. Um, so they're trying to, you know, you know, reduce their risk, their exposure, and be able to do it. So if you take this time to get in there and get situated and understand the business, just get started. Get one car out there, get out there, understand it, see the dynamics of what's going on, uh, so that you will be prepared uh, should this thing become a big deal, and you won't be the guy scurrying to try to build a business wrong. You know, you won't know how to set your corporations up. You won't know how to have your pivots with your rental car company. You won't have none of that stuff. You're going to be some guy trying to try to get in there, get that money. You're going to get cracked, but. But if you are going in now, this is a perfect time, I believe, uh, that if you get everything together, understand the business, and uh, try it out, get in there, um, you will be ready and at least be in a better position than most uh, when, uh, I believe, inevitably, they uh, become, they, they have their season, which will allow us to be able to get that cash grab. And so you want to be able to get as much cash as possible because you are in place and not scurrying to get in place after the fact that by the time you get up and running, uh, they've gone they've gone uh, to average, right? How Toro payment work? How Toro rentals work? How Toro goes works? How how Toro you know, Toro goes where you um, your car can be opened up automatically? Um, I have a uh, I can do it on my um, Toyota 2022 Toyota Camry. They set it up for Toro Go on the app, and so they can just open it up. And how Toro insurance works? How Toro works? So these are all the questions that are out there. Um, and so if you have these questions and you want to just get help with it, just, you know, again, um, I'd love for you guys to subscribe. I'm at like 385 subscribers, which for me is like, you know, like 200 and something I picked up just off of the Turo uh, videos that I made to try to show my brothers in Christ and men in general uh, that uh, we have a responsibility to take care of business. So I'm thankful for that. So again, if you will, um, if you're new, please subscribe, share, um, like. And comment. I would love to be able to get this thing to the point where um, it's respectful. So all your help are good. I would truly appreciate it. And again, if you need me, I have no problem helping you. Uh, just reach out. I've got to get, uh, someone I'm talking to on Monday. I'm doing a Zoom call with them. I'm just going to share with them, help them get started. They want to get started. And so I'd love to be able to help people get started. But if you want serious, intense coaching and you want somebody to walk with you all the way through the process until you get to your 
ten thousand dollars a month i got you in that as well right for the service so love y'all i appreciate y'all hopefully this helps and again just check out this uh um answer the public and just look and see what kind of questions are in there you probably have some of these questions yourself and so therefore you can put these questions in uh the uh, comments and i can work on uh, talk walking through that and help me out with it as well so that you can understand uh this business which i think what i truly believe is going to be um business yeah, this is a great question Turo, who pays for a flat tire All right if they do it they pay if it's because of you you pay <laughs> right and in tour who can drive uh you have a primary driver and you can add on a driver um they just got to be on the on the app right but the primary driver's got to pick up and the primary driver's got to be uh after that if they've got an additional driver they can drive a lot of people I have a lot of wives that go on there their primary and they add their husbands on so their husband can drive um and vice versa right uh, so that's definitely the thing tour who pays for insurance again the insurance is covered in the plan and um and again the uh, the doctor was going to be based on what how much you want to give toro um, and so you don't have to worry about the car being insured while it's covered. And then there's a company called Lula that'll cover your car. If you got this car 100% committed uh, to uh, Turo and to being rented out, that'll cover you for off rental coverage so that when the car is uh, going from the uh, drop off, they return the car and you take it to your house or whatever it is where you're taking it back to, it's covered as well without you having to be on your state farm or your farmers or your Geico. Okay. Um, so who cleans the car? You clean the car. They are not going to clean the car. To customers, again, gentlemen, also, gentlemen, if you're starting this business and you love your car, you're going to use your own personal car, please understand you're going to get scuffs, you're going to get scratches, you're going to get uh, sand. I'm just saying we get sand all the time. Uh, they, they, they are probably great people, uh, but they are not, they're thinking your car is a rental car, just like Avery's and Hertz. And you know how y'all do with those cars, right? You just run them, drive them, do whatever you want to. It's not, not my car, do whatever. They're doing the same thing. For their, as far as they're concerned, you are a rental car company. And they will treat your car just like they would treat it if it was Avis, rent a car, a condo, whatever, a condo rent or whatever it is, right? And so please keep that in mind. Buy, because that's why I love the economy model. Um, I care about my assets, uh, yet I understand that they're going to go through some stuff based on who use it, right? And so you can try to go in and say, clean my car. It's not going to work out, right? So you're going to clean it. When it gets returned, you're going to clean it, flip it, and put it back out there. And uh, please, in the name of Jesus, please... Don't put garbage cars out there. I, if you get overwhelmed and you um, can't do it, shut it down. Uh, you do not want that reputation. You don't want, you don't want, it messes up Turo, it messes up all of us, uh, it messes up you. Um, you don't want to just throw a car out there and hope it works out. It's like, oh, just be thankful you have my car. It's going to work out. You know, I had a great um, uh, as a bonus. I had a great idea. Um, imagine if some uh, uh, entrepreneur, let's say a single mom or somebody trying to, uh, start off, create a business, um, or some youngsters that just want a side hustle, uh, would come up with for a good price that works. Because we all, you know, as Toro hosts, we're always trying to manage our costs, so we're not going to go crazy. But imagine if we can, they can start a little company where uh, they can, they'll go take a pick our car up when they return from the airport, clean it right there, and then flip it, put it back out there, or get it ready for us. So maybe in between the return and they going out again, they got to, you know, maybe they charge 15 bucks, or maybe they charge $18, right? Nothing crazy because we're not going to pay it because uh, we got to do that per car, but I can cover that in my delivery fee. Imagine if we could, if somebody started a little company, they, got, they have their, all the cleaning supplies, they have it in the car, and they drive around, they got some help, and they'll go, they'll pull your car out of the airport, they'll pull your car out where it's returned, and they'll clean it out for you, and then drop it off to you, and then uh, you can you can handle the customer-facing part of your business, and don't have to worry about cleaning cars as you get down the road, right? You know, so if you don't, you don't know, mind to buy any cars, you can clean some cars. You can drive. You got a driver's license. Just do that for a little while. And there's tour hosts. I mean, there's tour hosts throughout. I mean, this thing is growing like leaps and bounds. And I promise you, if you put it, depending on what marketplace you're in, uh, there's a ton of tour hosts in there. Like, you you know, you charge me 15 bucks a car, I'll find a way. You know, you're going to go pick that car from the airport, pull it out, clean it, and maybe it's going back out the same day and get it ready to go back out. Or you're going to clean and drop it off my house so I know that car is done with. Shoot, I'm... I, I might do that because, you know, you're just doing it for trips and I charge delivery fees. So if it's one of the cars that has delivery fee on it, it's math for me, right? So again, if you're, you know, if you want a side hustle, do that business, help somebody out and, uh, you know, and see if you can, uh, you know, get that up and running, uh, make some money on the side. I mean, you know, 18 bucks, it takes like these cars never destroyed. I'd probably say it'd take you about, you know, half hour worst case. I mean, I can knock a car out with the car wash and vacuum and stuff like that in 15 minutes with my photos. So, um, think about it. It might be something maybe it was meant for you. 
uh, again, so put on them kits to work, and uh, you know that you can start them off by doing that for your cars, and then uh, they can expand it and, and do some marketing and say, I'll do it for, I'm doing it for my parents' cars, let me do it for your car. All right, you know, never know, right? Business is business. So I appreciate y'all. I hope this was valuable to you again. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, help me grow this bit. I mean, grow this channel. I would love to be able to look to my and say, look at my Men in Spiritual Authority channel, man. We are, uh, we got a thousand plus uh, subscribers. I've got all these likes. We're adding value. Add value. Multiply yourself. I'm not going to leave this earth unless I've added value to someone's life. So again, if you need me, comment. I got you. Okay, we'll be all right. We'll work it out. We'll talk it out. And um, I'll help you get started. I'll help you get in there and help you do it right so you don't make the mistakes that I made and that uh, we can go from there. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.